you can't prescribe anything to an artist. Artists need to be free to do whatever they feel like their calling is. But for me personally, I came to this work through social activism. I, I grew up fairly modest means, knew nothing about theatre, and was really creating work to empower those around me who didn't see themselves in the media in positive ways. And someone had, luckily I had a teacher who told me what I was doing was theatre and that I should pursue it at the university level. So and I believe theatre can change the world and I continue to aspire to do that with everything I make. You've talked a bit about like the structures of what you hope to do within your artistic vision and then also um, cultural heritage and what it means to you. With both of those things in mind, what does theatre mean to you? Theatre is sacred work, that's what it means to me. It is one of our oldest traditions. It's preserving a way for us to come together in the dark and face each other <laughs> and talk about how we move together as a society. So yeah, I think it is vital for the health of a community. And speaking of teachers, mm -hmm. you have taught at the National Theatre School. I have. So what was your favorite thing about teaching at the National Theatre School? Uh, my favorite thing always about teaching is learning. I end up learning so much from the students I teach. Mm -hmm. You know, there's that beautiful thing of not um, having sort of all of the experience to tell you sort of how things must go. There's the beautiful, bold, courageous energy that comes out of really being connected to your own inspiration without being too many, too, too many influences and, you know, mm -hmm. editing how you want to work. So, yeah, I always find teaching an inspiring, a rejuvenating practice for me because I learn so much from the students and National Theatre School is, I think, an incredibly important institution in our country and, yeah, I, I really... I really found it really rewarding. And speaking of process, do you believe that the process of creation is as important as the end result? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think that they're inseparable. I think, for me, I've never had a time where an end result did not reflect the process. <laughs> yeah, I think, for me, it's, a, like I said, it's a sacred sport, and I, it starts to me in the process of rehearsal. It starts to me on the first day. Every day that you're rehearsing is a ritual you complete together. And if you can accomplish that with integrity and clear creative vision, I think your show will inevitably be successful. <laughs> you directed Trey Anthony's The Kink in My Hair, which was a powerful celebration of women of color. What are the main issues addressed in the play? And how can theater highlight the realities faced by women of color? Yeah, I think the powerful thing about that play in that moment was just hearing from women that we didn't normally hear from at that level uh, at the Princess of Wales Theatre. It was the first Canadian show to be in that big commercial space that was built originally for Miss Saigon. Seventeen black women speaking about their personal truths coming from a very specific experience of course connects us all. You know, I think that the specificity of, of, of our experiences is always what appeals to the universal audience. What, what about the way in which we do the work or what about the work can communicate to people or bring people together or do you think that that's not its role? I think theatre feels relevant to people when it most reflects its origins, where it was just a free space for the community to come together and, you know, a democratic space where different opinions have, have the right to be heard together.